What's up, peeps? It's Sussex Nashman here for Hisui vs. Kohaku Part 2 Breakdown. So let's go ahead and get right into the action. This game comes out in five days. I am so hyped. I'm, I'm super ready. The things that we've been talking about and breaking down, I'm going to make note of as well to try to add to my gameplay early on. Okay, so we got Moon Drive at the beginning. So Moon Drive, like I said, you get extra actions. You get uh, two jumps, two IEDs, I believe. All right, so we got in. That Johnny Sword is like super fast. I don't think it nets a hard knockdown. Yikes, she got launched. With the DBZ launch, we got the Johnny Oki. <clears throat> and this right here let's stop let's go back this is very very important this is gonna be this is gonna be very important to akia players and kohaku players specifically all right so she has the plant the plant is active it's about to go active you see kohaku with the funny face uh now here's the thing let's slow this down so we pop Moon Drive. Moon Drive is going to give you some invo frames. So this plant is still active right here. She pops Moon Drive. Still active now. But those invo frames are going to give Hisui the ability to do another action, which is going to be shield. So she shields not only the plant, but Kohaku's broom. And she opts for the invincible option, which takes away some of her meter. Uh, the invincible option, of course, like I just said, it's invincible. So it hit Kohaku on Fatal Counter and got her out of the Oki all together into a combo. So now when we go back, I think the most important part to understand right here is when you go back, when you do that Oki, when she goes to shield you, so she shielded, she actually shielded Kohaku and caught Kohaku in recovery frames. That was complete recovery frames. However, Kohaku probably would have been better off doing her Oki and just waiting. Kind of like our last video with the Akia player. Uh, they put the, um, they put the pinwheel out. Put the pinwheel out and waited. And the Arcuid player actually shielded and tried to launch but got hit because the launcher isn't invincible so you wait for your active projectile to hit them however this was an invincible um an invincible action so i'm not specifically sure how you're supposed to punish that quite yet without the game being released so we're gonna have to wait and see if there's some actions like maybe you can back dash and then launch or maybe you can air throw and see you know what's the option to beat this option because there has to be some type of option or some way to hit the uh recovery frames of this so she got out the oki completely and actually is going to get hit for a good amount of damage that was actually a lot of damage for messing up her Oki. Okay. We pop the heat. Let's see. Nice air confirm. Kohaku. Knocked down. And that was so good. That was so good. Like, that was so good. So, just a, a staple 5P into a instant air dash chase the back dash. It's like... The Kohaku player just knew. She was like, yeah, Hitsui, you're going to back dash. I'm going to catch it. Like, I'm going to hit you. And she went into a full combo off of that. And it, it actually hit her airborne, too. Like, she was airborne and got a full combo. So that's good to know that you can definitely uh, read back dashes well and still punish them in airborne recovery frames. That was really good. So, I don't think y'all peeped. Kohaku just did Moon Drive twice. Let's go back. She did it at the beginning of the match. Moon Drive. And then if you go to about here. You go here. And look at what happens again. This is the same round. She popped again. So, let me educate y'all on something. 
moon drive you can do moon drive as long as you're at half moon so as long as you have half a moon you could do moon drive so the fact that kohaku did it early game and was still able to do it again might be the better and it might be an important tactic to do because why not why save it when you can actually probably pop it at the beginning get some new oki some new options because you have more movement options and you're going to get it again potentially and the fact that she got it twice in a round is very very impressive i'm actually wondering can you get it three times in a round is that possible because getting it twice in a round is already very very strong so that was very interesting i think this is the first video where it was popped twice like that that's actually kind of insane that uh they use the moon drive twice so pretty interesting okay oh what a fatal he's too real easy at like re-jump combos like she brings you back to the ground pretty easily into re-jump combo she does really good damage too sets up okay Kohaku. Okay, level 3. Her level 3 does really good wall carry. Has her in the corner. That shit was mad cheap. It was blocked. However, that sequence was mad cheap. So she gets really, really, really good Oki off of her level 3. Like, super good Oki. So, the fact that she gets super good Oki off of her level 3. Pops the plant. Instant air dash is over neutral jumps and goes low so that mix is still good because like the plant actually moved her forward a little bit it moved her forward so she jumps she ids and it's bringing her forward so the neutral yeah it, it actually moved her forward so that neutral jump could have actually went straight into a neutral jump into a late ied so she could have still got mixed like that mix was actually pretty cheap but you can layer that a lot of different ways and still get what you want out of that mix so that could have that probably could have went four different mix like related ways actually probably four ways that she could have went off of that mix but the the factor is off of everybody's level three they seem to get really really good oki like on dbz levels but i know dbz a lot of characters level threes got nerfed however in this game level threes are seeming super strong for the oki so that's going to be uh an important factor to utilize your meter when you have the level three uh go ahead and do it sometimes it does massive amount of damage and gives you oki so that could potentially win you the round or the whole game or the full set Okay, weight of the world. Moon drive on wake up. Moon drive on wake up into shield is so strong. You have to bait it. And I don't see people throwing shield yet. I love this level three. Arc drive finish. That arc drive is so sick. It's so sick. So interestingly enough, I don't see people throwing people out of their shield. People might be afraid to commit to the BB though. Some reverse beats, okay. The corner carry, Hisui's corner carry is good too. And she already has her in the corner. That super's invincible, so it's definitely gonna be a get out of jail free card. You can probably chase it. So, uh, side note, uh, this super that uh, Kohaku does, in the last game you could actually just jump up and throw her. I don't know if that's still relevant. But uh, for anybody that is about to get into the uh, the game, uh, in the last game, you could throw it. So you might can uh, still throw it. But she seems a lot higher. But you might can super jump and still throw her. I don't know. You, could, you might. Maybe. Like, look at this corner carry. Hisui. Right back in the corner. Okay. Good heat. Ooh, just takes her out there with the air confirm. Again. Hisui's air normals are so good too. JC charge combos. I love seeing that that's still in the game. Ooh, let's go. Johnny Sword. That was so cheap. Hold up. That was cheap. 
That was she. She was in the air so long that the Hisui was like, shit, I'm gonna just press a button and still lit her up with some dynamite. That was actually pretty sick. Right here. And I don't know why the Hisui woke up with this. Maybe missed input, but it didn't matter because she dropped dynamite on her because of a late IED. So the fact that uh, Kohaku has these types of air actions like after a throw like that and then like that did she actually hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up people hold up hold up hold up how did we get here okay okay so that's smart so something i just saw is she just did like you know staple jump bc air throw so she doesn't use the second jump so now she has a jump still at her arsenal However, Kohaku does jump, air dash? Air, oh, that's not air dash. Okay, so she did jump, air dash because she had another action, but then the dynamite just glides her and it looks like an air dash. Okay, that's actually pretty hot that she didn't utilize all of her movement options and she kept some for uh, more pressure. That's actually pretty godlike. Okay. Reversal Moon Drive. Reversal Moon Drive is going to be something... It's going to be something very popular, I can already tell. Because the thing is, with the Reversal Moon Drive, the way that worked... Because uh, I've seen a couple of people talk about the sequence right here. And... So, in this sequence... Uh, let me slow it down. This was not a punish. This was because the Hisui mashed. This was not a punish. This was not a punish. Reversal Moon Drive to the Instant Air Dash, that was not a punish. Now, it could have been a punish if she was a little higher. However, she didn't really low. So, it wasn't a punish. However, the Hisui went to mash. I don't know if she mashed shield and got caught in her startup frames, but she mashed something and got 2-8. So, that wasn't a punish. That was a counter hit. She counter hit her out of that. See, counter. She counter hit her. So, like, that wasn't a punish, but that was a really good uh, moon drop activation. So, activating your moon drop on, like, an instant air dash is actually pretty damn good. So, moon drop reversal is probably one of the strongest <clears throat> mechanics in the game, from what I've seen. It's definitely something, like I said, month one, week one, yeah, it's gonna be super strong. <coughs> She just lost because of that, too. Completely just lost because of that. Cat ears. You gotta love the cat ears. And again, like, what a match. Uh, we saw a lot of different things this match, though. Uh, but specifically, moon driving twice is probably going to be meta. And reversal moon drive just in itself is super strong. So like I said, people are going to have to lab these options before, you know, all the complaints and, you know, this person isn't blocking or whatever. We're going to have to lab all of these options to see, you know, what our options are and how to counterplay uh, all of these different mechanics, especially with the shield invincible uh, follow up to see how to punish that are there options in general but yes that the fact that i think the thing i'm most shocked about is the double moon drive double moon drive and around i think that's the first time we've saw that and it's very very interesting and i think that's going to be early early game meta all right so next we will be reviewing the noel gameplay versus roa man that's one of my favorite matches that's, uh, uh has come out so i'm gonna I'm going to be pretty excited to cover that one because Noelle is probably looking like my secondary. She looks like a super fun and super cool character. And Roa looks really cool in this game as well. So, again, thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And y'all have a nice day.